Yes, Papa Play Boys, your boy Sean. Again, back with another video. Sorry, babe. Got Dan and Lex over there. You guys can't really see him, but he's somewhere over there. There yo! See, there he is. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing something a little simple, hopefully. It's my first time ever like taking off my shifter or whatever you guys wanna call it. My shift freaking thing. But yeah, today we're gonna be installing the Siri Moto short shifter for the 2015 Honda Civic. Well, it's for 2012 to 2015 on the Civic. So basically the knife jam. Pretty simple from what I've seen on ProCivic.com. So hopefully I can install this and not mess up anything. So yeah, let's get it started, man. First thing you guys want to do, I know that you guys got to pull up your e-brake and then you got to take off the plastic pieces. And I don't really have a tripod because I'm at my friend's house. Dan Lex there, you guys go watch them on YouTube. Dan Lex. You got a clean IS, he's a building, he's gonna swap it. He's gonna swap the motor with 1J and he already has the W58 sitting inside the garage. So, yeah, he just needs a lift to put that transmission in and then he's gonna be running. But, uh, yeah, so you guys just have to take off this plastic piecing, which I don't know how to do yet. And I'm gonna figure it out. All right, so to take off the plastic piecings, you have to take off your shifter and these should be able to pull off. You should use like a, uh, like a man, a screwdriver, but like a flathead or or one of those plastic trim removers. Like I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my screwdriver. Or how I say, keep saying screwdriver. I'm gonna put my flathead right here. And once I put my flat right here, it should pop out. So let me grab a flathead and then, yeah. All right. So once you get those this plastic trim off, you don't have to connect these. You can leave them. Just throw them to the side. No, throw them, but you know, just place it to the side. And uh. You're gonna to want to take off this bracket right here. Oh, first of all, to take this off, you're gonna to have to lift up your on your uh, what's this called? You know what this is called. Eh, I'm gonna ask you guys, but you lift up on this and you just yank this off. Be soft with it, cause if you break it, you break it. But yeah, then you want to take off this one bracket here, and uh, yeah, take off this one bracket here. Then you have to take off this bracket, and then that's how far I got so far. So. <laughs> My arms bent. So when I figure out how to do the rest, I get back to you. Yeah. You're not supposed to be here, but all right. So after you guys take off the plastic, you guys want to take off this bracket. There's gonna be a bracket here. It's gonna be exactly this bracket. And it's gonna be just like that. How you see it? One uh, one screw on the top. This is a 10, and this is a, I think a 11. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be right here. You want to take that out so you get access to this bolt. And then after you take that out, you're gonna wanna take out this big old crap right here. And it's gonna be right here, connecting to here, to here. And it's gonna have one nut here, and another one that's like behind here, where you, if you guys can see my finger. It's gonna be like right here. So after you guys take that one out, um, next thing you wanna do is gonna be, a, it's gonna be like a little clip, or like a little, I don't know what you guys wanna call that, but it's gonna be that. You wanna wanna take it off of here. Make sure, make sure, oh gosh, it fell inside. Oh Lord. <laughs> All right, as I was saying before it got stuck, it's gonna be that little, whatever you wanna call it, and this. Don't lose this, don't lose that. Are you screwed? I'm not gonna put it inside there, I'm just gonna leave it right there on top. So after you take that out, you're gonna wanna like try to turn this to get this locking portion out. I think you have to turn it counterclockwise. Yeah, I think it's counter. It's gonna take a little force, so don't don't break it. If you break it, it's not my fault, like I said. So, kind of need two hands for this. I'm gonna show you guys after I take it off. All right, so it's kind of hard recording and like doing it at the same time. So, uh, yeah, this part right here, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, is a bitch to get off, but. If you try, you will succeed. So uh, basically what you guys want to do, you see this white clip here, you want to get like a screwdriver or a flathead and push it open. So it's going to be open like that. Once you have it open like that, you have to turn this to, uh, you, have to you have to do a full turn going counterclockwise. So this way, do a full turn going that way. And to tell you guys right now, it's pretty hard to do it. So make sure you have a buddy with you. So like, 
once you turn it all the way, you should be able to push it out. You know you don't have to force it, but just keep wiggling and it should pop out. And then it's the same thing to do on the back one right here. This one's kind of hard to see, but you got to do the same thing there. And then uh, once you do that, you have to um, take off these these uh, nuts or screws, whatever you want to call it. They're ten. Are they tens? No, they're elevens. Well, mine's mine's the eleven. So, yeah, these are elevens for me, and the backs are elevens. So take those out, and then the shifter should be almost ready to come out. All right, before I forget to tell you guys, this is gonna be like the spring clip right here. The easiest way to get to it is putting it in third. And it's gonna pop up, and then what you guys want to do? You want to pinch them going outwards, so like, so like that, and it should come off, and then the whole shifter should be able to get loose. Yeah, fail me. Yeah. All right, so after you guys take off this one, which is kind of hard too. Same process as this. Twist all the way around same thing twist all the way around pop out that collar right here and just wiggle it out it should pop out then once you do that it's going to be these right here thank you babe you have to take these out right here and they're going to be in each of these so once you take those out the shifter should be able to wiggle out make sure you take these like make sure you pry it open like like that like like remember like like that like that <laughs> so once, once you do that it should be easier to take this off and once you get all those bolts and nannies and crannies out, it should be like this, you feel me? So since we got the shifter out now, I'm gonna show you guys what you guys are gonna have to cut to install the Siri models. So you basically gonna wanna cut going along here. So you're gonna have to get rid of this. So literally just like right there. Wherever where we see the curve at. And don't cut too deep, just literally cut going up and you can just curve it back out you just gotta get rid of this so yeah oh snap I'm bleeding so yeah let's get a cutting thing installed boys wait cutting thing <laughs> let's get this thing installed boy five minutes later this part off as you can see it's nice and smooth now and uh what I'm gonna do next again oh yeah what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put thread locker on these on these right here so it won't come out what happened said lock over there <laughs> I got thread locker right here <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna put thread locker on this and I'm gonna put them aside but I'm not gonna twist them all the way yet because this has to this has to go on this, like that. Okay. All right, so you guys, so once you get this on and you put the thread locker, you can just tighten it on here. And then what you want to do next, you want to loop this up with the excess loop that's like inside here. And you just want to press it on top. It should go in easy. But yeah, it should go in easy. There we go. All right, guys. So to tell you the truth, this crap is kind of annoying to get on. I'm just gonna let her do that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why you look like that? No, you're tired. You're tired of getting it. No, you're tired of it. It's not going in. Yeah, it is. All right, babe, just stop. Just stop. Just stop <laughs> right now. Did you just? I guess he wasn't tired in it. All right, that's fine. I'll do it. But literally, that part right here. This, oh my gosh, <laughs> took so much force to get in. But for, uh, as I was saying for this, you just wanna spin it counterclockwise, same way he was doing it. And once you get it, that full one, that full rotation, you wanna lock it by pressing the white lock. Do the same thing with that. And then once you clip it in, you're gonna hear it clip and go like, uh, like a click. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't do this one yet. There you go, so it clipped. So now both of them are in. Now I just gotta put the 
the nuts or the bolts or whatever you guys want to call it and then yeah that's pretty much it yeah 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 stop it get some help all right guys so i got the shifter back in everything's bolted back up well everything for the shifter's bolted back up make sure oh fuck <laughs> i made a mistake i forgot to put that back in what make sure you guys put that back in so i'm gonna pop this back out slide that little uh washer back in this one right here and then yeah that's it if you guys like like i said if you guys are having a hard time with this just keep trying just he's really strong you won't break it just don't try to bend it or whatever um yeah so make sure you guys bolt up your shifter before you put this in because if you do put this in before you bolt up your shifter it's gonna be really hard to reach that back bolt which is which is right there this bolt doesn't matter you can get that bolt right there it's easy and uh yeah that's pretty much it once you get the shifter in everything else is just bolt back on put this back put that back and then you put back your trims so i'm gonna show you guys how short it is that's first gear that's second that's third that's fourth that's fifth and that's six pretty short used to be way longer so first is pretty short that's first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> this guy here. <laughs> hey guys, make sure you follow him. Follow him on Instagram and watch his YouTube videos. Dan likes out here. Here. <laughs> Thank you, man. You know, I be doing my do. All right, all right. Oh yeah, this this right here is a a Honda Civic Type R. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the SI badge. Got me there, damn. A TDR Corolla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Never heard you swapped the two JZ and one of those? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Only in Australia they have that. <laughs> the only in Australia? Well, you know mine. Mine from Canada. You feel me? But yeah, this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse. So everything's really short and I'm freaking loving it already. He ain't going to drive yet. But yeah, I'm gonna put everything back and then the next video should be me driving it. Alright? Alright? Right. Alright, right, so what's popping play boys? This is the next day. And I got the shifter in. So that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Pretty short. This is how it should have been, to be honest. Like I feel like if you buy a SI sports injected it should have some you know better shifting some freaking shorter shifting I guess but hey whatever I'm gonna give you guys a little uh drive with it I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I have nobody recording me and I don't feel like putting my switching cups up so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand and hopefully everything goes well so here we go For 50 bucks, bruh, how can you beat that? Or 60, how can you beat that? And I got it with free shipping. Crap is amazing. Need a short shifter, bruh, get it, dog. Best short shifter, best low budget short shifter you can buy for your knife jet, honestly. It's pretty short, makes it feel tighter. That's how I like it, but yeah. Sirimoto short shifter for the knife jet. Must buy. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm on my way to my cousin's house. So I'm gonna start hitting this at his house and then hopefully get it up by Monday. So yeah, see so y'all boys Monday.